Good morning, guys. I am on phone cam again, and I still don't know where to look. I keep on like looking. I think there you are. That's the dot. I can't really see. So if my eyes are darting about, that's why. Anyway, I have just whipped out my phone. I like doing these random kind of like unplanned vlogs, which is what I'm doing now. I'm going to nip into Dalesford, which is one of my local kind of healthy organic farm shops i need to get some more vitamins because i've run out and i just want to see what there is get some ideas breathe in the health that's the general idea my throat is croaky i've got a bit of a cold so that's why i sound a bit bunged up that's why i need some like healthy stuff and vitamins and all of that so i'm gonna go in and see what they've got also i'm gonna nip into the hay barn which is like their sparry bit and see what events they've got going on see what classes they've got because that's one of my goals at the moment is to you know go to more events and classes and plan ahead so i'm going to see what they've got going on yeah first of all i'm going to talk about my nails i had to address the pink elephant in the room look how pink these nails are i mean really i went to have my nails done and i looked at the selection i saw this one and um I didn't realise how pink it was going to turn out. It's even more fluorescent in real life. Look how bright. Now, I've recently booked a holiday, a summer holiday. Well, it's in Easter, but it's in Dubai, so it's like hot, sunny kind of vibes. And I think that's what I had on the brain was holiday nails, because they're holiday nails, aren't they? They're not January nails. So, whoa. Yeah, they definitely look brighter in real life than they do on the screen. But, hey-ho! when I came out I showed my mum she was like whoa whoa there holiday nails I was like I know so I think I might have to do something else to them I don't know anyway so when I'm pointing at stuff you're like whoa there blinded by the pink that's that's why that's the situation anyway let's head on in and see what there is healthy wise in store <laughs> Before I go into the food bit, I've just nipped into the homeware stuff and I love the candles here. It always smells delightful anywhere here, but these candles in particular are gorgeous. So I've tried, I've tried, oh, what have I tried? I've tried this one. I'll turn you around again. I've tried this one. It's really nice. I've always smelled this one, the vine tomato. Um, and it smells really nice, really nice and fresh. I might try that one next. But I do have this one at home, which Ian got me for Christmas. Yeah. Another thing I want to try are these reed diffusers as well. So that's definitely on the list once I've worn down my supplies. my favourite bits in here, obviously now in the food section. I love all of these little healthy drinks and shots and smoothies. So I really like this one. I often pick one of these up. So it is ginger, turmeric, lemon and honey. And that's a really good like, oh, nice bit of a boost for that one. Really like this one as well, a nut latte, cold brew coffee, dates, vanilla, Himalayan salt and cashew. That's really nice. I think it's really like, excited to try new drinks. I think I'm going to try a few different ones today. Stock up for the week. I might look at this one. So that is apple cider vinegar with honey and turmeric. The sort of thing I'm trying to drink at the moment is more of the apple cider vinegar and the turmeric in it as well. That's quite appealing. I might give that a go. Oh, one with beetroot in it. Apple cider vinegar and beetroot. That's quite nice. I've had this one before, the green smoothie. Avocados, almond, spinach, dates. Yeah, it's nice that one. Oh, look at 
at this CBD oil infused honey. Add CBD to your honey. <gasps> oh, I like the sound of that. Now, I've had a little bit of a dabble with CBD, as in like, I bought some, tried it once, and then stopped. So I think I want to get back into it and see what all the fuss is about. Wow, look at that. Honeycomb rack, 100 pounds, wow. I mean, it's pretty hefty though, but wow. I've been trying to drink more tea as well, and I like the sound of these, so it's all different mixes. So green tea and heavenly lemon verbena. And then this one, dream time, chamomile. So I've been trying to drink more chamomile at um, bedtime, but this one's got lavender and rose petals. Bet that'd be quite nice for bed. Clarity, peppermint, and licorice root. Okay, may try a tea. I love this, it's like a zero waste pantry. So you bring in your own pots and then you can fill up with nuts and seeds and things, or you can buy a little jar if you need them. Again, it just looks so appealing, doesn't it? So I tried this the other day, it's like a CBD, um, I, don't, I didn't really know what it is to be honest, but it, it says focus, you know, it's meant to make me focus, I tried it, it's a bit weird, I wasn't really loving it, I didn't, I don't know, so I don't think I'd try that one again. I expected it to taste like coffee, but it was kind of like watery coffee, so yeah, if it was a coffee infused with CBD, I'd probably be more inclined to try it again. Fresh juice of the day, they have pure celery. Carrot and apple, pear and beetroot. Mm. Oh, and you can add a shot. A shot of turmeric. So, vitamins, what I actually came in for. Now, I got that one last time. It's just like a multivitamin. So, best for energy, well being, and immune system. But I ran out a couple of weeks ago and I haven't been taking anything. So, I need to stock up on something. I don't know if to get that again. We'll try something else. I find it really tricky with supplements. So I've heard good things about this brand, the Wild Nutrition, Daily Multi Nutrient. That's 30 pounds, but do you know what? I don't mind paying a lot for a supplement if it's a good quality one. So I may try that this time. How many do you get in here? 60, so that's two months. So it's 15 pounds a month if it's one a day. Is it one a day? Oh no, two capsules a day. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't know, let's see what else there is first. I'm kind of drawn to this one as well. So seven salt magnesium dietary supplement. And I'm kind of low on magnesium and potassium. Well, the last time I had a checkup anyway. And according to their little blurb, it's good for mood and anxiety, essential for the function of muscles, nervous system, and building strong teeth and bones. Again, 36.99, but if it's good quality, it's worth paying for in my opinion so this is kiki health again i've heard good things about this range as well but i don't think they've got a multivitamin not that i can see anyway so i think i'm gonna try i think i'm gonna go for this give this a go i've not seen this before they've even got um, fabric conditioner and laundry liquid that you can pour into your own container it was just the food that they did. I'm in a deli bit now and just iron up the soups but I've got my own soup maker now so I don't need to do this but I can get some ideas. Rocket and pea soup, roast tomato, oh spicy corn chowder that sounds good. Mushroom soup, I've got some mushrooms at home I need to do a mushroom soup I think. Ah oh, they've got a whole CBD section here. So like I said, I've tried that one and I'm not keen, but let's see what else there is. I'm intrigued. CBD, elderflower, lime, what is it, water? Must be. I saw these last time as well, a shot, CBD shot. Oh, cannabis tea. I just did say I'm drinking more tea, didn't I? Calm the mind. Oh, very tempted. They have the seed lip gin here as well. They're actually really nice. Non-alcoholic, if you're wondering. In there is the cheese, and it really, really stinks of cheese. I'm not going in. Right, I think it's time I got a basket. So I got my vitamins, I went for those ones. I'll talk more about that later. So I like to have a look at the deli and just kind of get some ideas of things I can make at home. I mean, occasionally I'll buy 
not laughter. Looking good, looking healthy. Oh, they got the fire pit lit. Wow, it smells amazing in here. Gorgeous display. So irresistible, actually. I think I need some. It smells amazing. I like to come in here and just look at the flowers because they're just so gorgeous. Oh, and they've got dried ones up there. Right, I'm going into the hay barn, which is out the back. You can hear the waterfall. So, like, lush and peaceful here. In the week, that is. At the weekends, it's manic. But uh, it's just, like, got such a chill vibe. Yeah, so I'm going to go in the hay barn, which is their spa, and see what they've got going on, because they have good events here. Events, classes and things, so, and workshops. So let's see what they've got. Oh, my goodness. Did they know I was coming? Did they know I was coming? Crystal and sound healing. First to the second. <gasps> oh. Really want to go. So you could probably tell why I love coming here. All of these self-help books and spiritual books, crystals. It's so zen. I don't need another book at the moment, to be fair. But I just can't help myself when I see new books. So they've got The Miracle Morning, I love that book. I've also got this one, The Crystal Bible. That's a good one. I've been joined by this one. Hello. We're gonna go. <laughs> we sat down in the old spot and in the drinks menu, they even have the CBD drinks in here as well. I think it's just the ones that you can buy that they just throw out, I don't know. There we go. Cocktails, a bit early for that. CBD menu. This is what I'm talking about. A bit of coffee. And I want that cinnamon latte. It's so good. Oh, you can add three drops of CBD oil to any hot drink, Ian. Shall we add a shot to our coffee? I don't think it works like that. It's not got any of the active ingredients that you get in. Oh, is it a long term thing, you think? It's not like. Oh. oh, I don't want any then. <laughs> golden milk. What's golden milk, Ian? What's what? Golden milk. Golden milk? Mm. Is that like what you used to get in the old days, in my day, the gold top? Which was like the, <laughs> the, the, the milk that was super creamy, had a thick layer of cream at the top. Oh. You wouldn't I? remember that, would you? Oh, no, I've never yeah, heard the, of it. The milk when you used to come round and you had silver top, which was like normal milk. And you had a uh, gold top, which is yeah. like the thick, creamy, heavy. Milk. I doubt somehow that that's what it is. And then, and then, when we hit, I think about the eighties, they started to deliver red top, which was semi skim Oh, fancy! Yeah. We've moved round. We're next to the fire now. <gasps> oh, isn't that lush? We need one of these at home, Ian. Yeah. Right in the middle of the living room. <laughs> it's a courtyard there, it's really nice in summer. But you see that building there? They're actually building like a swimming pool, a gym, sauna, all of that kind of thing there. Which is coming later this year, so I'm quite excited about that. I'm going to grab a bit of breakfast as well. I'm fancying avocado and poached eggs. I think that sounds good. What about you, Ian? What you fancy? Huevos rancheros. Really? Yeah. camera and I've got my green tea see I'm being good with my green tea so let's have a delve in see what we've got the first thing is one of these shots I 
yeah, every now and again I pick one of these up because I really like them. I really feel like they give me a nice boost. This is ginger, turmeric, lemon and honey. I need it at the moment with my cold. So it's like a little cold press shot. Now, I want to try and make something like this at home so I'm not spending so much on them and not using so much plastic. So I'm going to have to investigate and see how I can make my own little shot at home but for now picked one of them up and then the cbd section really lured me in i really want to investigate more about it it seems to be like one of the things at the moment i don't know if it's faddy i don't i don't know so i need to research a bit more but i thought i'd give things a go so i picked this up it is a cbd shot 50 milligrams of cbd this one's focus so it's gonna get my mind focused and yeah, get stuff done. It's gonna chill me out at the same time. Really, really interested to see what this is like. See, I don't know whether it's like, if I could just have one of these like once a week or every now and again, or if you have to have this kind of thing daily to really feel the benefits. I don't know, but I'm gonna give this one a go and let you know how I feel after having it. What I'm gonna do is have this of a morning where I have a busy day and I need to get lots done. I need to be focused, I need to be calm and all that kind of thing. And I'll let you know how I get on. Then for supplements, I went for this one again. I was torn between this one and another one. But I looked at the ingredients, the ingredients, the vitamins and minerals in both of them. They were both kind of pretty much the same. There's a few added ones in the other one, but I was happy enough with this one last time. So I'm going to go for it again. So this is the Fushi Multi Essentials Multivitamins. There you go, that's another supply. Then I've got some organic raw activated almonds in raw dark chocolate. That could be my nighttime snack, like my nighttime treat. Instead of having a packet of biscuits, I could have a couple of chocolatey almonds. They look good and they're activated. <sighs> activated nuts, not normal nuts, activated nuts, which apparently means you get more of the nutrients. So there you go. And then lastly, <sighs> controversial, got some cannabis tea. Hmm. Body and Mind Botanicals. So individual biodegradable tea bags. So it's basically CBD. So our 100% organic, safe and legal cannabis tea is full of life enhancing cannabinoids, which would not get you high or stone. Oh, oh, I'm joking. Our cannabis tea introduces people to the wonderful benefits of CBD, which has been shown to help people relax and sleep better as well as being able to, show to relieve stress, anxiety and low mood. It is also shown to help with inflammation and has no negative side effects. So Ian's obviously got a dodgy hip, he's got a dodgy neck, he doesn't sleep well. So that's why he is interested in having this or drinking this. And I'm a bit moody and a bit, mm, I can sleep, but I'm a bit on the mood swingy side of things. So this kind of fits both of our needs. I'm going to try it see how I go. I asked at the till, I was like, oh, have you tried this? Is it any good? And the guy said, I haven't tried it, but I have a few customers who buy it all the time and they say that it's really, really good. So I'm going to try it. And again, I'll let you know how I get on with this. So there we go. That's my little supplement haul. Let me know what supplements you take. I'm always interested to know. I think I've asked you this before, but I'm always interested to know what supplements you take because some people are like, I don't believe in any of that. It's all about the fruit and veg, and yeah, it's a waste of time, and other people swear by it. Where do you sit with this? I'd be really interested to know. And if you do take supplements, what do you take? What benefits do you feel? And if you don't, why not? Is it because it's too expensive, or you just don't see the point? Fruit and veg and healthy living's fine. So yeah, I'm interested to know, let me know. I'm gonna shut this situation up. Shut, 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 everybody giving it a shake. So this one is really up like that when you drink it. It's the turmeric that does it. I need this today though because of my cold. I'm going to drink this and then bing, my cold's going to go. Mm. And then ginger. So strong. The worse it tastes, the better it works. That's my motto. It looks like I've got a stripe down my top, doesn't it? It's just a strip of sunlight coming through. Right, let's do it guys. Oh, it's going to burn, I know it. Oh yes, oh, burning, it's good though. Oh, I've bought an M&S version of this before 
and it doesn't burn. It's quite sweet, it's got a pineapple in it. This one burns. But I feel like it's doing more, you know? I feel like I'm gonna hiccup. You know when you have something spicy and it's gonna make you hiccup? It's like that. An intense dose of goodness, mm. Right, lots to get on with around the house. I'm gonna go and do that. I'm gonna check in later when I'm drinking my cannabis tea. I'll let you know what it tastes like and yeah, what I think of it. So I'll catch you later. So Ian hasn't watched my last vlog, um, my food haul one. And you know the veggie sausages? I was like, I'm gonna give them to Ian and see if he knows. Well, he's eating them now and straight away he was like, where are these from? Weren't you? But seriously, why? Why would you do this to me? Why would you give me veggie sausages? Because I just wanted to see, you know, I thought, oh, that looks interesting. Maybe you'll like them. The, nothing, the kids love them, they've eaten nothing, them. Nothing, nothing, even the idea of a vegetable sausage appeals. It tastes all right. It's not a sausage if it's, veg not got, if it's not that, got it, has it? That's a sausage. No, that's not. That's, that's a roll of vegetable mush. That's not a sausage. In a sausage shape. Is there any beef in it? Any what in it? Beef. No. Any pork in it? No. Not a sausage. You don't get beef sausages anyway. What are you on about? Yes, you do. You get beef and pork sausages. No, you don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. You do. You don't? Clearly, you don't spend enough time in the sausage aisle. You do not get beef sausages. You do get beef sausages. <laughs> you It's pork. Sausages are pork. You get beef and pork. No. Yes. Whatever. The sausages were a hit. We'll be getting them again in next week's shop. Ooh. Open your mouth. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I love a sausage. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking on it. Yeah, you choke on it. After I've made it and you turn your nose up at it. Hello, I'm making the tea. It's brewing. Look. I even had to cover it up because you pop it in boiling water and wait 20 minutes. Didn't realise I've got to wait 20 minutes for it to really like get strong. And it says to cover it up as well, so let's have a look. There it is. It just looks like tea. So we'll see what that's like in a minute or 20 minutes. It comes in a one of these fancy tea bags, you know? One of not like the papery ones, it's like a netty one. And it does kind of have a whiff of Cannabis. Not that I know that what cannabis smells like or anything, but yeah. But then it is cannabis, isn't it? So it is going to smell like cannabis. Anyway, I also made some coconut flour cookies. I call them keto cookies because they're good for a keto diet because it's got coconut flour instead of normal flour. So it's low in carbs. Ian requested that I made them, so yeah, two have gone. I went upstairs. Two have disappeared. Yeah, I think someone may have snaffled them. So I'm going to go and drink my cannabis tea and then eat a load of cookies. <sighs> Not that I'm going to get munchies or anything. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is. But apparently that's what happens if you smoke cannabis. I, I wouldn't know. But I'm going to see what this tea is like. Let's have a sniff. Very herbal. Relaxed already, just sniffing the vapor. Mm -mm. Or is it the cookies I can smell? Mm -mm. Right, I'm gonna go and drink my tea, and I'll give you a if I'd like the taste. Yeah. Yes. What I want to know is what. Right. Does he not know I'm filming? Subject. Right. If you're a vegan. Yes. Why would you want the sausage? Well, maybe you've become vegan. But even so, why would you want a sausage? I don't know. It's not something I really worry about. Mm. Anyway, catch you later.